Welcome to another episode of Peace Elite. This. Hold on. <laughs> Don't you ever? <laughs> Oof. We're not, we're not doing that again. No. <laughs> God damn, do the thing, thing, boy. I forgot. 40, oh, episode <laughs> 144. <laughs> yeah. 12 times 12. Do, do, do. Welcome to another episode of Please Leave This. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I heard the 12 times 7. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Is Don't that do the that same to me as again. Square? Don't okay, do it again. All right. All right. I had a hard time. In <laughs> the basement, we have Darren. Bim. Genevieve. Hello, good evening, good morning, good night. We're shaking, we're shaking. What up? <clears throat> that was my shoulder shake. I seen it. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> All my friends. <laughs> we're good. I finally watched uh, Coming to America. Hey. hey! Finally. You liked So I get the beef from the people, uh-huh. although there shouldn't have been a beef, but I get it. Um, the tone of the movie is completely different than mm. the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, first one it's a little raunchy a little edgy uh, with this one they almost made it like family friendly yes yeah. and then the musical piece like during the funeral all the performances and stuff like mm-hmm. it was just a different a different vibe for the film completely I'm trying to get a lot of people on yeah yeah a lot so from an appreciation standpoint and from a um, just seeing the, the, the band back together so to speak <coughs> I love that shit. Yeah. yeah. And then the joke at the end, thank you, Jen, for that, Damn it. was uh, from Dolomite. <clears throat> the Netflix Dolomite or real Dolomite? Real Dolomite, because the Netflix Dolomite was pretty much the same as the real Dolomite. But that joke was a Dolomite joke. So you got something that Eddie did Again, in Dolomite. It's so uh, back it's into the, Come on, man. It's so mm. crazy. They're Genius. Good. They're good. Genius. And you know how with the first one, like you said, each time you watch it, you, you'll catch something else? Mm-hmm. I feel like with this, for a while to come, you're going to be like, oh, shit. Yep. Oh, oh. Yeah. I got to throw it on again um, because I did like Leslie Jones in it a lot. Yeah. She, she did her thing. She did her thing. She did her thing. Yeah. But with this one, though, they were um, being more politically correct with stuff. Letting the daughter go for the, <clears throat> you know, for the kingdom. Um, uh, correcting Eddie on doing things a certain way or almost doing things a certain way like his dad was and you know but like stuff like that so the tone is very different right. uh, but everything is like that now yeah, right so us original folks we are looking for <clears throat> that but no we can't even if they try that cancel, you could, cancel even if you did the exact same script on a on a stage play <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> like right after a Tyler Perry play you right. put that shit on it still would be a problem like so right funny. wait the pastor did what <laughs> had a bunch of women on the stage and then what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> he Doesn't did work. <laughs> Yeah, he, he needs to turn around. He said that. Thank you. The Hugh Hefner on high. There's no way <laughs> any of that. And he definitely turned around like. <laughs> God is good. God, that, that's God right there. <laughs> there wasn't a morsel of any of that <laughs> in this film. Not a, they couldn't. <laughs> no. Different times. You got so. people washing your balls under the. Like, come on. Now, granted, Leslie Jones was getting served. Yeah. But it's not the same. Not you know what I'm saying? Like, it's. Yeah, you know. he didn't come up and say a male version of your royal exactly. penis is clean. Yeah, not a single boob in the movie, <coughs> no. which I thought was going to happen with the son. <laughs> ben was uh, keeping note. I was like, oh, no, this is very <laughs> different. <laughs> Zamunda, nope, looks nothing like it. No. This is Rick Ross's boob. house. Rick Ross's house, and I love that they brought Babar. That was oh, yeah. crazy. Back and he's grown. I was that like, oh, <laughs> I love it. I love said it, love the it. elephant even got a check. Yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> Everybody got my fucking check. The little rapid twist. Everybody got a fucking this, check. Yo, I was like, holy shit, look at that. Look at Peaches. They found the same jean jacket. Nasty. <laughs> but they did do a little too much, though. Like, I didn't like all the performances at the funeral. <clears throat> right off Salt and Pepper with uh, whoever Everybody else. Everybody wanted to check, yeah. I was like, ah, it's a bit much. And I saw that product placement. Yeah. The Fashion yeah. Nova store. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, whatever other stuff they were throwing in that there. That was the only costume that made me go huh when the daughter she had on a crop top with like a colorful skirt so it looked like she was wearing zamunda attire if you right. know. but the the top was puma exactly <laughs> it was, it was like, like what is going on here <laughs> it's like wait what right i just kept staring at i don't even know what that scene was about i just kept staring at the little straps with the oh, said, puma well she had it on for a little bit it was when she was yeah. either training or when the son was trying to do they, stuff and she was there uh, yeah like, yeah that but she was laced in puma <laughs> i said wait what 
And um, is that because Puma in Africa? What is shut it? up. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, the second daughter is actually Eddie Murphy's daughter. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's yep. nice. Yeah, oh. very nice. And they didn't overdo it with her scenes, trying to. Yeah, yeah. I would have never guessed. She did it perfect. She was there. Did your stuff out the way? So yeah, I liked it though. Little nuggets in there. I'm did definitely gonna watch it again. Stuff got out the way. Yeah, because you like know that. you know how people would say, "Oh, it's my daughter. She gotta be. She would have been the uh, the lead." But you know, she wasn't the lead. She was the oldest one, brown skinned girl. Oh, she's so beautiful. Skin just like pearl. Best thing in the world. Wouldn't trade her for anything else. <laughs> oh, I trade it for Darren's hoodie. What's that is kind hoodie? of fire. She said she would trade it for. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a fire no. hoodie, yo. Oh no, thank you. Where you got that? Shout out to Haitian Kings. Mm. They provide a nice hoodie for me. Mm. Uh, I'll grab their information. I was thinking about doing this later on in the episode, so I'm not ready now for that. But. That's the name of the brand? Yeah, Haitian, Haitian Kings. Kings. Okay. <clears throat> oh, damn. That, that was smooth. We got we to gotta start doing ads. That that sounded like it was paid for. That shit was... <laughs> damn. Ain't nobody paying us for nothing. Just no. give us free shit, though. Right. That, too. Food. Oh, I love food. We'll take food. <laughs> mail, mail something to Darren's house. Yo, mail something. <laughs> Or deliver? Deliver. Or deliver. <laughs> Order for delivery. Idiot. So that's what I did. I only saw a little bit of Ghostface um, and uh, Raekwon. But it was fun to see them. They look great. They look super great. They I was like, great. wait, they're like 51 years old. Right. There's Darren, hope. we're not even going to ask you. If you There's know. hope. <laughs> There's hope for who? There's hope for us to be courageous. <laughs> I'm going downhill. I can't speak for y'all. I'm going downhill. They both had hair? No. Ghostface don't have hair. He always wears a hat. Yeah. Raekwon had hair, though. Skin looks great. Yeah, they it's look good. Crazy. They look good. And the lineup, um, for quick versus talk, <coughs> we got Redman and Method Man on 420. Makes yeah, sense. Are they going together? Are they going against each other? Against yeah. each other. Okay. I love it. I mean. I love, I'm a huge Redman yeah, fan. Yeah. Huge Redman fan. Yeah. I can't wait. Um, I can't wait. Yeah. But before so that, I did that. I did a Redman song. She's a gem. She Jen. She is. Jen, Jen. Um, but they got <laughs> I, they got the Isley Brothers and Earth, Wind, I and Fire I saw that and I thought up. that was fake. No, it's real, real. brother. I was, but I know it's real, but I was like, no. Ooh. Man, Ronald. This, Yo, this the a, Isley Brothers got this, shit. There's a couple times in a week where I'll just like, hey, can we just play like one Ronald? Mm. Like, like, for the love of you. Mm. Oh, that That's our Sunday morning music. Oh, man. Do you make like a Pandora station with one of them? Ooh. That's 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 good. That, that's a good way to get up in the morning. Chills, man. Oh my goodness. Damn, 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 damn. So yeah, you ever make a Pandora with Who Dion uses Wall? Pandora? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, anything anything similar. I mean sometimes you My can... wife uses Pandora, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you listen to albums on Pandora? Like a whole album? I don't know. I don't think I don't you can control much. what you he, listen guys, to. Guys, we can listen to us on Pandora. <laughs> Find us on Pandora. <laughs> Shout we to love Pandora. Pandora. Cheers. <laughs> Two free ads, God damn it. <laughs> Those are great. Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I had to stop that Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Jen. Dion Warwick and Pandora. <laughs> That's another good feel good. I'm like, what? Let's say a little prayer for you. Ooh. Yeah, you don't think about Ooh. it. But yeah, it's a good station. Shout out Pandora. Um, <laughs> so Ron Isley and, uh, I mean, um, sorry, the Isley Brothers, mm -hmm. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. it's going to be great. It's but classic. the Isley Brothers started. Before, right? Yeah, like they've been at it since like. 60s, what 50s? happens if he yeah, goes on contagious? But, the, but can't no R. Kelly related anything, <laughs> <laughs> which is a shame. <laughs> it's I, a I shame. I forgot who I saw on Instagram <clears throat> today said the only person that could beat Chris Brown and oh, Lil Duval, only person who could beat Chris Brown in a verse is R. Kelly, which is tough because depending on song selection, Usher will still give him a hard time. But I'm just saying that I never thought about R. Kelly being in verses. I do, but then I have to stop the thought. Oh. Because how good would that be musically? But how bad would it be otherwise? Oh, God. But then he'll be extra. He'll have like some kind of wild background. Yo, he would wear white feathers. Oh, white feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I just made this up five minutes ago. Oh. He'll make a song about verses right there. And it'll be a hit. It'll be a hit. <laughs> we can't do this. <laughs> so. First in the name of love. Stop. And they revealed today... <laughs> A few hours before we started recording, mm -hmm. one of the blurred out ones because they did like a yeah, jump for the May year. 8th. Go ahead, one. Go you, ahead. You know which one it is? I know what I'm talking about. SWV mm -hmm. and Escape. Escape. Wow. Now, I don't know if they have 20. 
each. That's what I've been wondering all day. They should stop at 10, 5 maybe. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, mini versus? A mini, mm. You know. Yeah, I head up. <laughs> Not head up. A little but, scrap in the yard. <laughs> but for those songs that they got. A scuffle. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm there for it. Yeah. I'm there for it. Yeah. Hot. You're my little secret. Hey. See, you're forgetting. Hey. You're forgetting, man. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I'm hyped. Damn. Because this is one of the ones, because I always talk about Jermaine Dupri. Oh, man. And how much I love JD. Now I'm thinking about it. We Don't had we had Jagged Edge, but that one didn't go well, audio-wise and whatnot. Uh-huh. But now you got a group that is heavily involved with Jermaine Dupri, So So Deaf. Let's go, man. I'm hype. So okay. hype. And um, Oof. one of the blurred out ones is going to be a rematch. I wonder who that's going to be. Did you kind of make out the, the names-ish? Mm-hmm. No? Damn. No, I, ha- I don't have scramble eyes. Scramble eyes. Did they correct themselves when we were kids trying to watch porn on uh, HBO? <laughs> <laughs> that's how you unscramble. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a titty. I saw a titty. <laughs> I saw one. I did. Uh, now I can come. Nasty kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. That's but a yeah. good turn. Shout out the verses in that, man. Bring the entertainment. What have you guys uh, been up to? whole lot of nothing. Um, I always tell them, Brother Ben, um, this past weekend, we went on a little mini date, couple's date Yay. thing. We went to Troop. And, um, oh, I still got that car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, such a great environment. Like, you have the paintings and the lighting and even the music in there, mm-hmm. depending on when you go. Well, it was pretty good, but... Um, <laughs> Man, I don't want to shit on a restaurant. Oh, but, say it. It's fine. The food's not it's that not good. good. It's not good. It's good, Jen. It's not good. It's not. Hey, the calamari? Mwah. And the, the what the I said? The banani. You know, we told you guys to go buy gift cards and support during COVID, but... Yeah, the food we, ain't it, man. Yo, their post on Instagram got us, and it made us feel like, damn, that sucks. I'm sorry, yo. Yeah. Again, yeah. great... <laughs> surroundings when me and the wife went they they had videos of b-boys going on the screen i love me some breaking yeah. oh yes amazing and um <laughs> and they have a shorter uh, a smaller menu yeah. because of covid i'm guessing yeah. but um if you do go don't get the braised short ribs no nope. don't get the uh chicken and grits okay don't get what else did you guys it's get that I, I had the sandwich I just that's had the all you had yeah and clarabo had a, a salmon um, you were the bar on a sandwich sandwich? It, it was some kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. Or maybe I got it. <laughs> but we ended up splitting it in half. And it, was, it wasn't bad, but it, wouldn't, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, I needed that. No, it's not enough seasoning. It's, they don't season. Not, I th- it makes I'm me not, think it's that, true. <laughs> How you give me braised short ribs <laughs> and it's not seasoning? Ramsey will go crazy. There's no salt. Yo, it's no salt. Yo, he developed a whole new accent. <laughs> he did. Out of anger. <laughs> um, I don't, I almost feel like they... They're known more for their drinks than their food. Ah, makes sense. I feel like they're more of a bar. because it's fun, because when There's we walked in, no, because when we walked in, they were like, "Are you guys getting the food?" <laughs> <laughs> we were like, "Yeah." <laughs> oh, we're just making sure. Making sure. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go tell them in the back now. <laughs> Where are they ordering food? I don't know. Shit. Like fuck, what do we got? <laughs> I don't know. Let's first see what they got. And then... oh, <laughs> oh my god! You gonna finish that? <laughs> Yeah, the food is not good. Well, man. But we had like a ton of fries, though. <laughs> Just load them up. <laughs> there was a lot of fries. Like, you know, usually when we are done and we pack up our food and we take it to go, Carl was like, I don't need all this fries in the house. <laughs> <laughs> we really love food. I've never left food at a restaurant before in my life. <laughs> God damn it, we left all them, like at least one and a half cartons worth of fries. Ah, <laughs> like, they gave dang. us a lot of fries. <laughs> <laughs> like we may not have Why good food, so but yeah, we have oh, fries. Boy. And so what if it's a bar? South Street, R.I.P. Mm. Food delicious. Mm. Uh-huh. Um, what's the other spot that we would go to on Thursdays here? True, Rosendale. I, uh, Rosendale. Yeah, wings delicious. Yeah, whatever other shit they would bring, it's good. This one, it's not good. Just man. pick your things and stick to the you what and you perfect know? it. You taste fries, it. Did you, you taste the fries it? Fries are not good. Yeah, they're not that good. How do you mess up yucca fries? 
Oh, no. Multiple times, I've tried it like three oh. times. There, so oh. the food's not. I was. I didn't want to. I didn't want to participate in this conversation. Let's do <laughs> oh, it's fine. Let's do Who something. Cares? Else. We still went. They took our money. <laughs> <Ladies and gentlemen, laughs> that's a that's a negative ad. So now we're back down to one. <laughs> hey, hey, two out of three so far. Hey, bye bye. We've never trashed the place before. Is that the first time? Was it a trash? Um, that's trash. Yeah, that was definitely yeah. there. Niggas don't um, salt the brace short man. <laughs> I feel they go and buy a short break. Someone's talking about us, guys. Let's listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, we hopefully it helps them improve. We, we, we can't post this clip because somebody will tag this. Oh, so what? <laughs> so what? We don't make yeah, any money. You know so how what? people are. <laughs> Do well, your we, worst. We, we gave them one one helpful. We said go buy the gift card, <laughs> and then we just <laughs> took it all away. Nah, fam. <laughs> go there for the drinks <laughs> and the atmosphere. <laughs> Hey, listen, that helps. Yeah. I, they probably See? make more money off the alcohol than they do with food. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Save them the hardship. Don't eat the food. Eat before Just you get drink. there. Eat before you get there. Did your mother ever tell you that? <laughs> eat before you leave? I, I don't know. I've never had, now that I think about it, I've never had a restaurant say to be like, you, you guys here for food? <laughs> yeah, and it's so strange. <laughs> It's so strange. It's so strange. You guys serve food. Don't ask me questions, nigga. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bring me the menu. <laughs> Just bring it. I'll tell you if I'm on right. food. Are should, you got, hey, are you, should, shouldn't you want something to catch my eye for me to add the food to my order? Fam. I wasn't going to get it. Upsell, nigga. You're like, wait, wait, hey. You, uh, you want cheese on it? Yeah, hungry Fuck. or? <laughs> are you hungry, hungry or? <laughs> I was on check. I was on check. Hey, drop fries, quick. Oh, they drop fries. <laughs> we got an order? Oh, shit. Two fries. They're like this one order. Well, give it uh, all to them. <laughs> we don't, what are we going to do with these fries? We don't need them. No, oh, shit. They, no, they don't drop new fries. They've had them same fries hanging there. <laughs> That's why they're cold. Every oh, time. Oh, my God. Fuck, I thought we were done with this. How we still... Shout out to Troop. <laughs> you know what I'm Support local and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just we have, no, oh, we, have, we have no affiliation to anything in the world. Nah, nigga. Cut the check, beloved. <laughs> Anybody can This whole it. thing can be spun around if you give us money. That's, that's, what that's it. Give us money. This whole thing will be <laughs> in your favor. <laughs> It'll be in your divine favor. Until then, divine every, favor. Until then, every episode is <laughs> coming for you. How you going to blackmail somebody <laughs> by talking shit? What, in a negacity? That's a word I made up today. I like that. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Jen, what you been up to? Oh, oh, I ain't been up to shit. Oh, that's not true. What I've mean? been... What do you mean? What do I mean? What you, I know you ain't just sitting around. The tears I, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been chilling. Is it work, cold work? chilling? Yeah. What? Cold chilling? Yeah. Yeah. Like a villain. <laughs> Ooh, burn it back. Y'all felt old. I asked the wife because I wasn't sure. Do people still say peace out? <laughs> you expected her to say what? Yes so or no? Tell me truth. She said they don't. <laughs> oh. were, you, were you contemplating <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sure because in my head, Bim. you don't say peace out? Hey, listen. No. When was the last time you said pizza? To the kids. Oh. <laughs> when they went to bed. Is that the confused look they gave you? No, they were like, peace. <laughs> I thought I'm still hip. <laughs> Uncle Bib is hip. So people don't say it. I don't. I would say it. I, I no. She said I would say it. <laughs> Not I do say it. <laughs> Bim, I don't remember the last time I said peace. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, because you don't talk to people. <laughs> you don't wish them peace. That's, when that's you do. right. <laughs> <laughs> he just says out. <laughs> 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 So just for my own clarification, people don't say it, right? I don't know. I, I, don't I can't know. say I've heard anybody say that. All right, peace out. How people say bye? <laughs> it depends what I'm talking to, but you just be like, all right. That's it. All right, later. You don't wish them well? <laughs> I don't say peace out. That's the problem with the world. There ain't enough peace. Well. There ain't enough peace in the world. Chad, you should have a <laughs> well, I'm going to make it my personal, <laughs> personal, like, the project <laughs> to work on me to better me <laughs> and I will Fuck. upon ending any <laughs> conversation or interaction with a human being I will now say right, peace out yeah man 
And oh, they'd be like, oh, <coughs> peace to you too, sir. Peace to you too. And then everybody be happy. And then peace, you, peace be unto you. Yeah. Oh, fuck. People are wilding in the world and Darren's just saying, all right. <laughs> nah, man, we need peace. Peace Y'all out. are tripping, man. Peace in and out. In and out, man. In and out. Peace in your hats. Peace in your butt. <laughs> That is the title. <laughs> what? Peace out. Oh, good. Yes, bring it back <laughs> to the forefront. Not bring it back to the yes, forefront. Yes, Jen. So you get a UTI. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> Whatever, man. Oh, I'm oh, very tired. Fuck. So, Jen, what you been up to? I don't even. Oh, boy. Um, What was I going to say? <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. You don't feel one for this podcast? So Dad, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I eat you know, if it wasn't for this podcast, I probably would have quit a couple of social media sites already. That's what's mm. Facebook specifically. Why is that? What brings you to this place? Because, so, it came around college, exiting college or whatever. And it was what it was. There's certain energy on it. But then the parents and the aunties came and it's like, ooh, it's weird. But all you had to do was just not accept their friendship. Mm-hmm. And, you know. But then wait for when they see you. Uh-huh. So now. <coughs> I have some few friend requests on Facebook. <laughs> Now, our friends, and I love you guys still, are posting shit that's equivalent to what aunties would have been posting. Wow. I don't want to see it. I don't care. Wow. And well, this is example? all love. I need, I, need, I need an example. What do you mean? What no, you don't need an example. No, not like a specific, but like what kind of things? I, okay, so when I go on social media, I either want to learn something, not about a person directly, um, or I want to see something funny. Two things, Darren. It's, Two. It's very easy. Two. Very, very Peace. simple. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two things. Right? right? Peace. So, <laughs> Jen, I'm being serious. So, <laughs> so when I go on Not there fuck. and I see people complaining about <clears throat> friendships or complaining about their spouse or complaining about complaining just to complain uh, and complain. I'm going to complain about you. You can do it I'm on gonna, Facebook, I'm of going course. To do it. <laughs> <laughs> Take your ass over there, auntie. Because <laughs> you don't see that on the Twitters <laughs> or the IG. Like, Where else would I put it? <laughs> right? See? <laughs> but it's not fun. I barely see fun shit. So I would have been, if it wasn't for the pod, because, you know, we upload the video and shit on the pod. Um, yeah, I wouldn't even bother, man. Mm. It's like, eh. I put fun stuff up. You, Tisha, um, you top three shit. Uh, hey. Who else? Who else? Not me. Um, <laughs> Monica was, be funny. She's hilarious. Monica's funny. What up, Monica? She um, always knows. Whatever. Uh, fuck off, Monica. So <laughs> we. <laughs> she knows. She knows. L O V E. Yeah. Outside of that, though, I mean, y'all are the mains. But I just be scroll like this. Just <clears throat> again, you're complaining. <laughs> and it it wasn't always like that. I would have been out, yo. Oh, that's just true dash. <laughs> The fuck is going on? Oh boy! He, I'm he, waiting for you to say something. Then you get my random streams of thought. I, you I'm on my, you know what? I'm on my second model. You know he warned me of this before you I got did. here. I told you. He said, second, "I hope Jen got modelos." Sh- <laughs> he said, "I hope Jen got shit to talk about because if you leave it up to me, I'm just gonna start saying shit, and I haven't offended somebody in a while." <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> All right, so there you go. <laughs> let's talk about things going on in the world today. By the time you guys hear this, it'll probably be Friday or later. Well, it will be Friday or later. Oh. But today's only Wednesday, and so by the time you hear this, the story I'm about to talk to you about is gonna be old news, and you're gonna be like, "Ew, nobody's been talking about that for the last 36 hours, Jen." But remember, mm. this was recorded Wednesday. Oh, it's still burning up Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm sure Facebook is the hellfire. It's on fire. <laughs> So this Derek Jackson situation. I purposely stayed away from most of this. Why? So that you could break it down. Why? I just <clears throat> he, be, so he don't like to do research. A little bit. No, no, but you know what? Because I feel like I get a better grasp of it when you one of you two explain it. But then you gotta have your own. You know what I'm saying? From what you, you see, I'll yeah. give you my input from what you tell me. Hmm. So we have to be very detailed. I heard a, 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 oh a funny uh, saying <clears throat> that I guess the younger people at URI were saying. C's get degrees. What that mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, that's great. That's great. I laughed. I so passed. That is true. I passed. That is very I, true. Give me the give me the, give me the diploma. Right. <laughs> the Don't announce my GPA. Just, just give it right to when the job interview calls. Say, yes, you got a degree. Yes, yes I, I did. did. <laughs> I made it. I have bottom cum laude. <laughs> bottom cum laude. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I saw a meme today about how gas prices keep going up. They're like, yo, I don't want these super cum laude <laughs> gas prices. I saw that. I, saw... <laughs> I just want passing. <laughs> Man. Super facts. ARC. Either way. Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, overachieving gas prices. Kind of like, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that, uh, that Cat Williams show about the stretch marks. Oh, which one? Oh, uh, he's like... Oh, men don't care about women's stretch mark. It just means two things to us. Either you were small and got, got big, big or you big, big and you got, got small. small. Either way, we fucking. It. No, uh, that, that part, I'm like, it's yeah. It's a fact. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Would you imagine, Darren? <clears throat> All right, girl. Let's get it in. A stretch That's mark? A, wow. What? Well, wow. I never. What is <laughs> What's that? That's, okay, and you want us to still have sex sex? <laughs> sex sex? How do you even get no, that? Who, no, I can't no. imagine anyone. No, I. Yeah, and, and if so, walk away, queen. Yeah, that that right. So speaking of walk away, queen. Walk oh. away, back, queen. Back to Derek Jackson. Mm-hmm. So explain who this guy is. All right, I'm very unqualified to do so, but I will. So anytime I've seen one of his videos on my f- timeline, it's someone who's reposting it going, this guy's a corn. The so, fuck? Yeah. So this guy is a self-proclaimed like relationship expert guru. Oh dear. Yeah. And <laughs> see how the plot thickened mad quick. <laughs> <laughs> that shit thick and fast and gravy. <laughs> and so he puts up all these videos. You know how Plies would record videos mm-hmm. like in his car? Yeah. He does that telling women what you know to oh, what dear. you should and shouldn't put up with. He'll say stuff like the one that Lil Duval posted that had me cracking up. He's like, oh, um, if you if you got caught cheating, that's probably not the first time you cheated. You probably cheated a whole bunch of times before that. And I have no sympathy for a man oh, like you. <laughs> oh, yes, Darren. Oh, yes. And he, he's basically that. He's a lot of things rolled into one. Mm. He's like that bitter friend who's just always ready to say, leave him, girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. But then he's also like a pick me. Mm-hmm. But then he's also like a panderer mm-hmm. to single women and broken women. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then he's also that guy who will tell a girl, oh, no, you like him? He cheated on his last three girls, but me, I'm not that kind of guy. Damn. The type of nigga we wouldn't hang out with. No. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. And so when his videos come, I try to watch it. It's like 20, 30 seconds, and that's it. Like, it's, he's just such a. And he talks in third person. So that part will come back awesome. to. That will come back to. So he puts these videos out for single women, and he, I just always assumed he was single. Because <laughs> why would you waste all this time talking to single women? Um, apparently, he's married. And they've been married for a few years, but they've been together for like over a decade. And he, he cheated on her a lot. I saw that first segment and I was like, I can't. I'm just scroll. <clears throat> he was, he, that was pretty wild what he was saying. So he brings her in front of a camera and the, for the first time that he's ever let Poor. anyone know he had a wife. Poor woman. <laughs> she, she didn't even exist until 36 hours ago. Like no, she was a she whole ghost. To. He was. <laughs> He was just here floating around with no woman. Um, he looks like he's about to go outside or he just got back inside. And she just looks like she's been inside for a week straight. And I honestly thought it was a prank video. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I initially thought. I was like, here's this woman in a bonnet and she's being sat in front of oh a camera. Does God. she know the camera's there? And then when he started talking, I was like, oh. This is, this <laughs> the way he thing. squeezed her hand, I said, I hope she don't have carpal tunnel because that would have hurt. I said, she had no, no her, her fingers was white as fuck. I would have been like, nigga, you don't let go. Why are you so you, tight? Why are you squeezing me like this? Why you why you why you do that? <laughs> this is not friendship squeeze. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> we had agreement. Uh, we had agreement. Now I wish now I wish she had a Haitian accent. <clears throat> so he, they record this video where he tells whatever he's been doing. He didn't just say, Oh, I cheated on my wife. He's like, I cheated with many women. He could have said it so much. <laughs> But then he said, but not cheating like think, cheating without the physical and all that shit, right? But but he did say he slept with women right before he said that because I ran yeah. it back. Oh, because didn't he say another video where you were saying all that other shit and then he said he admitted to actually even women? Was it in that same video where she was there or in a follow up? I didn't watch the live follow up thing. Okay, because I didn't watch the whole thing because like Darren, I. It, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was. It was. I told you guys. I did a lot of homework for like the pod. Fucking idiot. Because I'm like, I would never, ever watch any of this shit. It. It was tough, guys. And you see your poor wife. And she's sitting there, and 
Oh God, she's so she's in this bonnet. Like she looks, you know, she looks like everybody looks. She looks like she's been quarantining. Yeah, you know I mean, she had a bra, <laughs> she had a bonnet, this old oversized shirt, probably his shirt. She just looked like she's home, like she's the rest of us. Trying her best not to roll her eyes. She's just, she's just, just trying. Just trying is so hard. He didn't let her know this was going. This and was, he did not let her he know. Didn't and this didn't have to happen. It, it did not need to, to happen. happen. There's no studio <laughs> audience. There's not a red table. No, Fam, no, leave no, your wife in her room. <laughs> <laughs> He got threatened. No, if you don't do this shit today, bring your wife. <laughs> there was no need for this shit. Nobody asked for that. Hey, but yeah, so yeah, then yeah. they do the video. Mm-hmm. Then here's the gem, Darren. Well, I got I got fishing his piece. Yeah, because this is where I, I know nothing. Drum roll. She puts out this dumbass video. Oh dear. And she's just like you know, she's brought a whole lot of jesus and god and only jesus can resurrect this relationship and he can save Derek, and he saved him you know she put a lot of buzzwords and basically saying it i mean if you want to stay with your man stay with your man who the fuck is i got nothing to do with me all right but then just stay with your man and shut up like don't we ain't gotta bring jesus into this jesus like i I, I ain't whoa hey hey i ain't in it hey (laughs) My name is Benny Jesus, and I ain't in it. <laughs> yeah, Jesus wants no part of this shit. <laughs> what are y'all? I just put your Jesus like. <laughs> ooh, ooh, almost got on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's ugly. Yeah, not the Matrix. <laughs> so then, this is where I said, okay, this man is officially the craziest human being on the planet, <laughs> besides Trump. <laughs> I'm so excited. He did because when somebody like cheats like a pastor or something, he would do these like reaction videos about yeah. it. He did a reaction video to his own video. <laughs> Darren, <laughs> this guy's a maniac. Yo. <laughs> this guy's a fucking maniac. Because usually only... when I see reaction videos, it's uh-huh, person uh-huh. and then video going uh-huh. here. And like, he did that himself. Yes, to himself. Yes, yes. And Darren, his here is the kicker. <laughs> the moda kicker. He did it in third person. Yes. But when he was speaking as the viewer, he was in first person. But when he was talking about the guy in the video, it was third person. As if that was not him. As if the guy in the video was not him. <clears throat> Darren, you got this. It's the crazy. This shit is crazier than the 12 chapters of Trapped in a Closet. <laughs> Man. That shit was a, a viewing of crazy. Dear. This shit beats that. Okay. He's a narcissist. <sighs> He's a uh, everything, <laughs> fuck boy, uh, all, whatever women call dudes, all of that shit. Mm. Now, Jen, I'm curious because he does have a book mm-hmm. that he put out. He was plugging it. He was plugging the book during this shit. Got him. Watch- oh, sorry, don't choke. <laughs> sorry, about sorry, you. sorry. Bib tra- stopped his whole train of thought. He didn't want you to choke. He plugged Peace. the book. <laughs> he <laughs> plugged the book. He plugged the book during which video. I think both. Hey. So, Darren, this guy has a book. And... <laughs> Ask him what the book's about. Ask him. Well, I don't know what the book's about. Jen, do you know what the book's it's about? It's about relationships and preparing ourselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and on the cover of the book... It's him? I don't know what's on the cover. Him and his wife on oh. their wedding day. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 Oh, dear. You know... You know... Last March gave us COVID. This March gave us this shit. I don't know. I don't know what direction we're going. There is a little calendar like that's like shows you. Oh yeah, I saw that. (laughs) saw that. Oh fuck. January was the riots. I always laugh at seeing little people on the steps. But dear, 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 dear. Oh my god. You gotta hear the way he talks about the way he was cheating on this this poor lady, and then she keeps putting out more videos, and she just looks more homely in each one. <laughs> that's the book cover. Sorry. Oh dear! Ay, gee, gee. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, and then that's, that's one nice of them picture, is that her? <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know, you don't she put together. She got makeup on and shit. No bonnet. There's no bonnet. Yeah. I don't think that's. <laughs> you right. know, as far as bonnet goes, I thought that was a nice looking bonnet. At least it's a nice satin. Yeah. She yeah. look like. But then she did another video and she was wearing like a a pur- little purple hat that didn't fit. But then she did another <laughs> video and she was wearing a black beret. Why is she doing videos? Something's wrong I don't know. Head? What's wrong with both of them? They they <laughs> they deserve crazy. each other. They're crazy. They deserve each other. Crazy. So now, so I have a few comments. One. 
I understand why dudes would be pissed off, or not pissed off, would jump on the opportunity like Duval is going in on this dude. Yeah. Because you're 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 a, you're a whole ass motherfucker. You're doing all this shit. One, if you're gonna preach like this, your shit got to be clean. You got to make sure you you have nothing that'll come back to bite you. Clearly, he didn't. But second, instead of trying to help uplift brothers or get brothers out of a situation where they may be doing that shit, mm -hmm. you're just trashing and like you said he's married already so what's the purpose of you just doing this just to make all men look like shit so that what, so you can get more side bitches yes mm -hmm. nasty yeah very nasty he's just taking advantage of broken women because these are all women who are going through a breakup right or just went through a breakup or thinking about it you know what i mean and you're in a very vulnerable place when you're in situations like that so you're taking advantage of people who are in in a, a tough tough place so that goes to my other one so then the reaction i'm seeing from a lot of women is probably because they were maybe at one point championing his messages, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a huge letdown. Because these women were like, yes, <coughs> king. <coughs> to, yeah, yeah, tell these niggas. Tell these ain't shit niggas, <laughs> Derek. And then look at them. <laughs> <laughs> what is the one that Duval put up yesterday? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Duval is going crazy on his Yo. Darren, you know little Duval is, right? I, I do. Yeah. Are, you, are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right, so... Wait, um, no. Oh, okay. go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, it pertains to this also. Okay. So now, naturally, he brought his wife into this. People were flaming him, but then he did the stupid thing and brought her on the video, and then she had to put videos out. So Darren, always trust the internet to bring the funny. Yay. Check out the <laughs> caption, and then click on the picture. Oh, boy. There you go. You want to read that out loud, please? Oh, I was going to read the mine out loud. This one or this one? The one on the... Yep, you know, he used to practice top. first yep. in his head. He's fine. He got it. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> Okay. Imagine coming home from a long day of cheating to your wife, cheating, sorry, cheating to your wife dressed like Creflo, Creflo Dollar. Maybe you should have read it first. <laughs> and that's her. <laughs> Jen, you saw that one, right? No. Oh, let her read the caption, please, and then click on the photo for the surprise. <laughs> oh. oh my. This is uh, Mr. Jackson's wife. Well, what I was looking for is, uh, oh have you or someone you love prematurely ended a relationship due that. to advice from Derek Jackson? <laughs> if so, you may be entitled to compensation. Amazing. I love it. Duval is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I mean, that so, is. She, so he did this to his wife. And then he wanted to post something saying, uh, slander me, not her. Nigga, you brought her into this. Why is she wearing that? <laughs> <laughs> She also like graph paper. <laughs> Nigga says she look like Creflo Dollar, yo. How you come home and smash another chicks and your wife look like that? <laughs> she reminds me of a young version of Ben Carson's wife. Fam. <laughs> now let me stop because she's, she's dealing she's with a some nice shit. lady. Yeah, I'm sure she's a nice person, but don't dress like this. <laughs> this For those crazy. who are wondering, I don't know how to describe that outfit. Jen, can you help me? Uh, I said uh, graph paper. That's all I got. A purple plaid pants suit. Blue, or pants blue, suit blueprint paper with a turtleneck. Right, and it's not a pantsuit with the jacket, with the vest. With the vest, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> y'all are not gonna see it. And and, and it's a long sleeve dress. No, what well, describe it? it. <laughs> I'll put it on YouTube so people can That's see. Exactly what it is. A Jen, don't do that. Plan. Would say what it is. A purple it's plan. Plan. It's just check check. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Moving along. Hey. <laughs> Man. Oh my God! Hey. So, what is the conclusion of this Derek guy? Yeah, uh, he's just an idiot, and uh, <laughs> he's trying to sell a book. And um, is it the publicity that he's looking for? I guess. Oh, I mean, I mean if... but some some messy ass lady said that she, I guess she's the one who um, put this out, and she put something up. I think today, like, oh, tell everybody the rest of it, or else I'll do it. Oh shit! That's what I, I said, child. Oh. So I don't know what that means, or if she's really gonna do it. Oh, this nigga praying and <laughs> figuring out all types of shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> he God, probably no. recorded six videos on his phone in his car and deleted them to try to figure out the right words. Holy shit! There's more to unfold, huh? I'm always there for some messy shit. Me too. I've been. That's why I've been trying to figure this out so I can, you know, come help explain because I knew you'd want me to explain. Because I, I hadn't heard of the dude, so I didn't understand why the reaction was so yeah, big. Never heard of him in my life. But apparently he was near and dear to a lot of people. <laughs> or hated by a lot of people. So. Yeah, I thought it was corn. Yeah, but I, yeah, it, it's always weird to me when dudes get online. And again, if you want to uplift your brothers, if you want to say, hey, fellas, let's do right by our queens. You know, let's go to counseling. Let's, but that's fine. 
But if you like, hey, all these dudes out here chasing all these women, uh uh-uh, uh, it's not the way God said we should only have one. He he wasn't even talking about God. He just my opinion is Oh. Even worse. Yeah. At least have God as a buffer. Uh, no. <laughs> nah. Trash. Yo, that reaction video though. I can't believe he did that. How long is that video? I might try to watch it. I think like it was six minutes. That's too long. Yeah. <laughs> it's too long. Once you pass like four minutes, me, I'm like, uh. Thirty seconds. You got I thirty seconds to me, impress me. It told you. It took. It was hard. Nah, I don't care that much. What did she say about her beret? She said, "This is. <laughs> he said it's not a bonnet. It's a helmet of salvation or some shit." Okay. Oh, it's a religious tin. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Oh, it's not oh, a religious the, thing because she was wearing a beret when Christ, she said it. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I don't the know. And I want to joke, but I'm not sure. Righteousness. Yeah, I learned that when I was. Oh, okay. okay. When I was yeah, because some churches, the women do wear that. But it's usually in church. Mm-hmm. No, she, no, that's not how she's. All she the time, covered. She, she, meant, she like, meant like a metaphor. Like, yeah. this is keep, this is my armor. They both need to leave the internet, they, honestly. They, if that's what she meant, they need to leave the get planet. off. Yes. Go. Bye. <laughs> Go. Go see Elon Musk. Go. Why the fuck is that bias so <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> An awkward jet bias. All you leave, all you get. <laughs> <laughs> not even peace out nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go pee early. Why are you peeing already? You just got here. <laughs> Yo, are you gonna kick me on the planet and leave me with peace out? <laughs> That's all you need in the galaxy, brother. Shit, come on, Jen. We gotta take him to church again, huh? <laughs> Shit. Oh. Oh. So since he's gone, we can talk nerd shit. Here we go. Did you watch the Snyder cut? Of, no, not uh, yet. Oh, so you're gonna do? I it. want to. Yes. This is long, bro. I heard it's four hours long, and hey. I, I, that it's nothing to me. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, if I can spend four hours doing nothing but watching TV and not be disturbed, then that is a good four hours spent. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, babe, I said it. For those who don't know, sorry, nerd talk. Uh, uh, what is it? What are they called? The group? The Justice League. Justice League. Yes, came out. That movie came out what? A couple of years, three years ago, maybe? Um, 16, 17. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Maybe, I don't know, I'm guessing. Did you go to the theater to see that? No. Back when theaters were a thing? Nah. Oh, so crazy to say that. Yeah. Let's buy oh, movie man. theater, babe. All right, cool. Well, so my favorite one is gone one, now. The the uh, one in Pawtucket? The Warwick one. Oh, yeah, that one's leaving. Yeah, yeah, Showcase on the Warwick. They already took the, the name, the sign oh, down, Jesus. all that shit. It's wow. done. That was my go-to. I know that's yes. I know if you for those who are in Rhode Island must know it. The Park Ave Theater where we got yeah, engaged yeah. that's yeah. up for auction, right? But and it's risky, yeah, because you ain't gonna make any money until, until we can do shit. Back up, yeah, yeah. wow. Well, but really, yeah. And I know there's a movie theater now. It's a good size movie theater as well. Good. Oh fuck. Yep, it's yep, kind of yep. tempting. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Asking for? I don't know. I know the auction's like sometime in April. I was gonna look it up. I just saw it today. And, anyway. huh. So back to Netflix. Oh yes. Um, yes. <laughs> so tell me what I guess what is the like significance of his cut? Aha. Uh-huh. So I kind of heard something, but I'm not sure. So I'm. I don't want to uh, get it wrong. So mm-hmm. Jack Snyder, I believe, I believe, was behind. Hold on. Guardians of the Galaxy, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to pull up his wiki real quick. <clears throat> Uh, Zack Snyder, fuck you. Uh, Sorry, guys. So the significance is nobody, (laughs) people didn't really fuck with the first one. And um, it just didn't feel complete. Mm -hmm. So you saw, you remember the first one. So when I saw it, I'm like, wait, they're not going to dive into this? Oh, my God. I'm like, they're not going to dive into this. They're not going to really get into the story of, you know, this person, that person. Um, oh, so, yes. It did feel like rushed. Yeah, very it was rushed. like boom, 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 boom. So now, if you film a movie, a show, a music video. In the fridge or freezer. Um, if you film any of those things, you know you have a ton of footage mm-hmm. that get left on the cutting room floor. Yes. Um, so <clears throat> Snyder, who directed, let me just run through a couple of his joints, 300. Um, Very good movie. Uh, Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad. Oh. Uh, da, 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 Aquaman. Oh, he did all of them. Yeah, I didn't know he did all those shit. So shit. Yeah, so he did these other films that did well. Yeah. I don't know who directed the original one, but Zack Snyder with his, or Jack Snyder with his um, different viewpoint, with his different style. He's a bit darker. A bit darker. Took all the footage. Everything that was on the cutting room floor, give me every, give it, give me the raw footage, 
and now I'm going to make the film the way I the way I see it or the way I would see it put together, <clears throat> which I commend because that's a lot of fucking work for something that's already out. Yep. But um, I want to watch it, but four hours is intimidating, man. It's like a Chris Brown album. I heard people watching this. I know I enjoy it, but damn. You know what I'm I know people I'm are watching it. Day, day for that. <laughs> right. People are watching it in sections. That's what I keep hearing. Aha, uh-huh, yes. People Four like parts, right? Like, no, yeah. It's like, oh, I'll spend an hour and watch the first part. Mm. But me, I know I'm, I'll try to run right through. I'll, 8 to 12. Mm. You know what would have been ill? I thought about it as you said it. Um, if they did it like episodes on HBO Max. Yeah. So this week they dropped the first part, then the yeah. next part, then the next yeah. part. That would have been like a, an event. But this one is just like, fuck, four hours, man. I don't know. Yeah, it's... But, uh, yeah, no, I'm probably going to check it, though, I'm since gonna... you are, so we can talk about it. Yay! Yay. 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 Jen's bike. Jen's bike. Can I tell you about a show that I um, Do it. came across? Uh, me and the wife started watching a show called The One, I believe. Never heard of it. Um, I think it's on Netflix. I don't remember what, what channel it's on. Probably Netflix. And the you premise the of this, on, this movie Netflix. is... Huh? What'd you say? Old school, man. Yeah, we're old school. You didn't even catch that first. No, bit. I didn't. I didn't. Netflix ain't channel. Okay. Oh. That definitely was like. Yo, that delay. In my head, I was like, "What channel?" Is <laughs> no, what channel is Netflix? Not fine. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> my kids look at me so weird, like, "What? What's a what channel?" What are you saying? Dad? Okay. I was just like, "Is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> is that how we say it?" <laughs> Oh my goodness! Like, peace out, holy! <laughs> I guess we have no reason not. Peace to. out, still valid. Right? <laughs> so anyway, Netflix channel said. Netflix channel uh, talking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, it's one okay. more time. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying desperately to keep this together. So the one, they show about this company that has made this. Uh, think of like a, a Tinder or. A, love you know relationship type online thing mm-hmm. and they claim that if you give them a sample of your dna oh dear they oh are able to find the one for you mm. wow like, the one like this is your is life a TV partner show? it is a it is a show wow. yes and so you're like okay and as it goes in there's different plots that are happening um, but the biggest thing with that program is that they were finding that married people would submit their DNA to see like who their one is. Ooh. People would be too curious. It, exactly. Mm. And so they would match with somebody and as they found this was breaking up marriages. Now watching homes. this with my wife. <laughs> 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 you niggas crazy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't look at <laughs> Because of you and your <laughs> shit last week. I've been saying that. It's a bop, though. <laughs> it's a bop. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? Mm. Yeah. I love my love. Love my love. Come on, man. Enough. I hate it. it. Not enough. I hate it. it. And every time I'm like, fuck, I was surprised I haven't cussed you out yet. <laughs> But the thing is, you know, with the with the thing and people are, are, are leaving their relationships because they match with somebody else. And, you know, there's so many different, like, little things. And, of course, me and the wife are like, yo, that, it's crazy. Who's, it wasn't like, would you do it? It was more like, who's in the wrong? Or, like, you know, because there was one couple that are, like, um, they're together, they're married. And the, the husband, he's like, well, what the fuck am I going to get tested for? Like, yeah. I don't need to get tested. But the wife is curious. Yeah, about. Basta. Right. So I won't tell you what happened just in case somebody out there is trying to watch it. But, Devil. Um, <clears throat> but away from it, me. <laughs> but it, <laughs> you are not welcome. <laughs> but it has different aspects. And of course, I'm like, ah, like, would, it, would I want to see who this stupid program matched me with? Nosy Darren would. I would, but, I would, <laughs> but, but you know what? But they, they will find it. I guess the the twist on not the twist, but I guess in this show, the people that match with their one, they like just I gotta go talk to this person. I, they don't make you. They just tell you like, here's your person, here's the profile. Right. But they don't. That person's not. Um, no, yeah, that person. If they're on the, the app, if you will, they are notified that oh. you got matched. Oh, here's dear. your person or oh, whatever. Huh. But if you're not on the app, you just don't know. Curiosity got yes. me wanting to watch this. Is Alone. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, but I'm like, would I, I? I would, but would I? Like, let's say my wife did it. 
would I would I be mad? End everything. <laughs> <laughs> but then the catch would be, it was you, stupid. <laughs> the match was you, stupid. Imagine my luck. <laughs> right. It was you all along. My luck. I finally got to take a stand and be mad about something. Right. What the fuck? What the fuck? You don't fucking love us? And she holds up my profile. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's oh. handsome. <laughs> oh, he's also sorry. <laughs> Darren's been here Darren, before. sorry. Darren has been here before. You know, I was watching that guy, oh and God. what I think was that he, he, he jumped to the conclusion. Clearly, Darren doesn't know, he what, doesn't he's know what he's doing. Oh, my God. Man. And he love God now. <laughs> so what's wrong with you? Jen, I want to high-five you it's so good. good. It's good. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I wonder what my friends would think, do. How far into the show are you guys? We are about three episodes. I don't know. It's one of those, um, you know, I feel like British shows, they mm. one season and done. Like, okay. Usually. I like those. So I don't, I, me too. Because yeah. I don't have to be left wondering what's happening. Yeah. Um, but they are, you know, there's other things happening. And I'll tell you about it afterwards if you just want to check it out. I don't yeah. want to ruin it for people. Yeah, I think I'll check it out. <clears throat> it, um, when he was starting to describe the premise... It kind of reminded me of the uh, that Black Mirror episode. Um, I don't know if you know or remember that one, where folks would date, but the system would tell you how long you have to stay together. And then these two matched up really well, but they only got like I don't know seventy two hours together, and then they didn't see each other again until I did. I did. Yeah, and they were actively trying to see each other, right? They just weren't happy with everybody else that they were matching them uh-huh. with, and then. Um, they finally somehow got back together, but then w- when uh, everything went back out, that was all taking place in the system. It did a million or however many simulations, and it matched them. So then in real life, the system matched them, and knowing that things would probably go well. So we were watching all the simulations take place in the uh, system. Oh yes, I, okay, yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah, it was fire. white guy, black girl, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fire yes. concept. Fire. <laughs> Look at Jen. God. Damn it, Jen. You lost one me day, in the middle of it. One day. I was not listening. I would love. I, w- I would. Jen, listen I just to me. stopped listening to you for a second. That's love. What I, I would love. L O V. I would love. Love, love, love for you to just participate when we're discussing a show or movie that's not Bob Hart, Zabi Shola, or fucking I don't know, Rescue 911 or whatever you watch. Is this the one? It's, it's, yes. it's just 911. No, whatever. Rescue 911 is different, but I think they did bring that back. I saw things they actually. That America, see, look at her, look at her. America's Most Wanted was on the guide. I said, but for what? What? On the guide? Is the guy still there? Paul Walsh? Walsh? John Walsh? Is that his name? He, he, I wonder was the guy from Star Trek. Did he die? Whoa. Which one? <laughs> oh, the other, that's another show, right? Star Trek? No, is that, that's Unsolved Mysteries, maybe? No, he's not on nothing else. He's just scary. The Unsolved Mystery guy. Yeah. How did we get here? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you. Please, just watch some shit. I I did, I did I did start watching something this week. Let's go see. What's that? Oh boy. I did not say it was compelling. Oh god, he <laughs> <You> did. Yeah, <laughs> he definitely he, did. He said compelling. Oh, I stopped before he got to that word. Oh, okay. I just wanted it to be on the oh. record that <laughs> that had nothing to do with me. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, was I don't know compelling. You don't know. I, hey, I don't know nothing compelling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nobody compelling. Go. What you watch, man? I don't know. I don't see live upstairs. I don't know. I, don't I never know. see her. I go to work. I come home. <laughs> Some shit calls. <laughs> Shut up, Darren. <laughs> Shut up, Darren. Shut up. <laughs> Seeking second wife on TLC. What is it? Seeking second wife. Oh, oh dear. Can you explain the premise, please? <laughs> it sounds well, like the it's... opposite of Darren's show. <laughs> or the, the sequel to Darren's show. <laughs> when people <laughs> run off. Go. Uh, poly- polygamists. <laughs> Ah, Polygamist. So addition. Yeah, Without one, subtraction. One man, yes. Uh-huh. And multiple women. <laughs> you have my attention. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> of course I do. Oh my my Shut up. up. Go. <laughs> oh my, anybody would want that. <laughs> Headache. Right. Ain't enough excedrin in the world, beloved. Ow. How is it? It's wild. Explain. That was me the wildest thing I saw a week until I seen this asshole, his wife, <laughs> holding hands. <laughs> And somehow that's if you think about it, a normal thing is the wildest thing you've seen. Yeah. She was wearing a bonnet. She was trying to be like me. That's what that was. Right, here you go. That, that's you all would that never was. sit there next to some dumbass. I wore shit. oh no, no. Yeah. But I wore a bonnet on the show. She was like, Yo, I look fly. Mm. See how she just wore that shit? Jock and Jenny. Mm. Tell me about the show. Oh, sorry. Um Polygamous. So- 
Polygamous. Mm. So it's three <laughs> couples on. I started from season one, episode one, because that's how you do TV yes. now. Because <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like, because back then. You could just turn the TV on. Whatever episode was on was the episode you watched. That's, but that's you didn't fact. know this wasn't the first. You didn't know this wasn't. I didn't know like, this was season five. One of how many? Yeah. I don't I don't know. And you couldn't go back. <laughs> that, that was it. Is you, this five If you went 50? to the bathroom and you took too long, hey. you missed the chunk. That's it. You'll never see that scene. The worst feeling is going to the bathroom, come back, and it's a whole different episode. Oh, oh no! How long was that gone? <laughs> what happened? It's an all new episode. You just man. gotta abandon the whole show. And at the that worst point. is if it's a to be continued show. Mm. <laughs> last time, if you missed the last time on this show, oh, don't forget watch. about it. Don't watch. Forget about it. I'm not gonna remember any yeah. of this shit. Now. Forget about it. You know how many shows I watched between <laughs> a week ago and now? <laughs> Every night at 8 p.m., I was in front of this TV till 10. That's a lot of TV. I gotta keep all that shit straight. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I need the recap. <laughs> Thanks. I need it. Thank you. Thank you. Put the recap at the back of the show, no. too. No. <laughs> After you just watch it, tell me. Oh, recap. What happened again? Show <laughs> recap. <laughs> what did you just watch? How does it tell you? By the thesis. Um, why did I even bring that up? Because you said you watched them. The show. That wasn't compelling. Okay, yeah. so yes. So it's three couples. Because I did season one, episode one. That's how I got there. Yeah, yeah. One couple, well, family, whatever, <laughs> is a man, and he had he had two wives. First one they met like twenty years ago. Second one twelve years ago, mm. or some. So he's been with the two of them for twelve years. Wow! 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 <laughs> wow, Darren! <laughs> Holy shit! Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I'm then, floored. <laughs> I told you, she was wild, and um. They think they had like fifteen kids between the, between them, <laughs> <laughs> and one of the wives said, "It's time we should add another wife." Who says she's that? making that call? Not even a guy. So then they got this lady who's forty years old, but she didn't have any kids, and she really wanted to have kids. Mm. So she became the third wife, and he knocked her up within like two weeks. What is going on, bro? That was me the whole two time. Weeks? Watching. Yeah, she she married him in, in thirteen days. God damn it! Because you can't you can't have sex unless you're married. Because those that family's Mormon. Ah, thank you, thank you. Okay. So a lot of people um, who, a lot of people uh, like their stereotype is that it's a Mormon family in Utah that does this type yeah. of shit. So the first episode was them. Now they've added this third wife. I guess they were living in separate homes, and then the guy would just rotate. Mm. But now that it's so many kids and all this going on, he was figuring to just get one big house and put them all in it. <coughs> and so they were like about to move into their new house, and they, you know, the women are fighting over who gets what bedroom. She was wild. I'm interested. I'm not gonna lie. I'm curious as hell. I couldn't turn down. it off. I couldn't. Oh turn my it. God. It's on TLC. Yeah. Okay. Well. So then the second family. <laughs> Well, There's like, a whole nother two families to talk So about. each episode is a different family? No, it's a it's, reality show. So, yeah. so I don't each, know nothing. each episode, yeah. they're going to touch, keep touching base with each family. Okay, gotcha. I'm um, like a round robin. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just kind of su- su- summarized it. Mm. The second family, I think it was one dude and he had these two chubby chicks. Why and, that matter? Because that's a lot of love. <laughs> and I think they just wanted to add a third one. So they're they're trying to date. For a third one, where what is this? Where is this taking place? Did it say? I think I forgot. I think that second one might be in Utah, but I'm not sure. Okay. The third one, I don't know where it's at, but it's not in Utah. They're not Mormon, mm. and they're black. Oh. So it's the guy and his wife, <clears throat> and they have two kids. She's pregnant with their third, and they had dated some girl who they were really interested in, but it didn't work out. So she broke their heart, mm-hmm. and so they took a year. <laughs> They took a year <coughs> to, you know, heal, reflect. Mm. You know what I mean? Child adoption. They both had dreads. Like, they were so woke in this weird oh way. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, <coughs> now they're ready to get back out there. So, they made a dating profile on a polygamous online website. That's what's up. And they collaborated, worked on their bio mm. together. And then they <laughs> put the bait out. And now they're they're trying to meet women. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> So, because she don't want to have no more kids, but he wants a big family. Hmm. So, 
my immediate thought, and I've had this conversation with Bim, is what if we were to pass from this life? I never talked to you by any of this. <laughs> yeah, you are smart men. You are very smart men. Just, what if we were to I don't know where, where you're going, but I never Just know. engage yourself from this. Know, listen, what if we were to pass from this life? Wait, time out. Did you put this in here? Yes. You should put this in here to mix it. I'm with it. But Jen, you just did that with that one. I know, but this is cafe, Coffee yeah, Patron ooh. with... with this is my morning coffee. Almond milk Bailey's. Y'all got some other he's, shit going on. He's going to be a whole real housewife of Warwick. <laughs> Bye, kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's mommy's special juice. Don't, don't touch. <laughs> mommy's special coffee. <laughs> so right. What if we pass from this life, right? Oh, yeah. And that. on the next stage in transitioning, um, whatever guy we met with goes, oh, yeah, the guy that had the four wives? That's how you're supposed to do it. Can you imagine? <laughs> that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's you. I, I, was, I told you guys. I told you, didn't I? That I sent the Latter Day Saints down here. <laughs> I the Latter Day. I, I wrote it on a tablet for you. God damn it, son damn it. Anyways, I put it in the watchtower. <laughs> Did you open it? They kept bringing it to your house. Wow. <laughs> I put it wow. high. I put wow. It, they chased you down the street. I watched them chase you. They gave it to you at Kennedy Plaza in high school. What did you do with that little that little tiny book? It didn't have many words in it. It was just instructions of what you're supposed to do. And then here you are. Oh shit! That book, I must have lost it. Was it in my, my book bus compartment. I, I changed cars. I wonder how many people try to come back. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm I'm going. Right. Right. <laughs> and now you just this episode there. is never going out. Nah. <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad. So I'm interested in that show because, again, not speaking about me, uh-huh. but. Clearly, and Daryl and I were talking about this. No, you I've weren't never, talking about nothing. That's right, Daryl. In our group chat that <laughs> consists of the two of us and tears. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what you're talking about. Two people <laughs> and tears, <laughs> and tears. Um, like people have their different <clears throat> likes and dislikes and and uh, sexual desires and urges and, and all that living situations. Clearly, so. There's no one way to do this. Yeah. Clearly. I mean, they kind of made sense some of the times. I was like, I mean, I could see why you would do that. I wouldn't do it. Right. But I get why you do it. And that's kind of... The ladies are like, oh, I got a best friend. And if he doesn't come home, I have somebody to talk to. And we can help each other with the kids. Like, was the one dude who had the two chicks who are trying to date to find a third chick? Wait, he would rotate every other day with the with like who he sleeps with, mm-hmm. and the one he's not sleeping with makes breakfast and dinner oh for god. the other two. Oh my god! Darren. And they would just rotate. Back and forth. <laughs> it's the best of both worlds. It sounds so amazing. The best of three so worlds. you get to cuddle with your wife all day while the other wife is cooking for you all day. Now I don't want this for me. <laughs> I just want it, but I understand. I can understand what you're saying. So I want to watch it because I'm always curious about okay, uh, how practical is this? Right. Situation, right? Because the, the ones that are moving into the house, it doesn't look very practical, right? Mm-hmm. Now. So, and, and <laughs> it smells so good. Oh, it's tasty. And it take, tastes good too. Take a sip, yeah. I did. I just did. Take a zip. Man. That's what Chloe would say, right? As, yeah. Next week, I'm doing that shit. Right. Um, Do it now. Now I had two modelos. <laughs> I don't want more. I don't want to mix it. You can make a tiny. He tiny. doesn't. He still doesn't know compare. <laughs> compare, compare. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious as to how people make that work because right away we joke about how difficult it would be. It's a headache, and but I think uh, D Ray, D Ray Davis, the comedian. I think he has two wives. Um, yeah, don't always he has two girlfriends. Two girlfriends. Yeah, sorry. So it it clearly works for people, and the more that I gain knowledge and, and, you know, a little bit of information about how people have these situations um, or these relationships, I become way less judgy. Like, I, I embrace it. It's like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't look at it as weird. It's, no, this works for them, and it's good. The situation you described, Jen, where he's at work and the wife is home with the kids, usually that's stressful for a woman, home alone, or, or or a husband or, or whatever, whoever's home with the kids, it's stressful. Yeah. But if you got somebody else there, and you got a friend, and your homies, you oh sports. my god, it's amazing. Because the the black chick, she was saying, you know, they're trying to find a, a wife, and she's like, it's got to be somebody who wants to be my best friend. Mm. Mm. I was like, that's interesting. It is. I, mean, I can see, I can see that. I'm working. You got to get along, but you can't force a friendship. But if no. it just happens, like you find, yeah. That mm-hmm. mate that works for y'all? Oh, my goodness. And then he was like, yeah, I want them to be so close that if I don't come home, they'll, they'll be all right anyway. So, I guess my <laughs> question. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> what I t- Jen. Your face. But when you say that, though, and people don't, they, whatever. <laughs> because it's <was> funny. <laughs> whatever, man. 
Hey, another Red Man song. Does he? <laughs> yeah, I love Red Man. That's my guy. Does he ever have like? Is he alone at all? Like, okay, he rotates or oh, whoever. Which number one are we talking about? I'm I'm not sure yet. I'm only on episode two. Season one. That'd be my. So I, the the one guy who already has three wives, he has a rotation where one chick he stays with Monday and Thursday, and the other one Tuesday and Friday, the other one Wednesday and Sunday. Oof. And then he rotates Saturdays. What does that gentleman do for a living? Do they say? Um, one guy was a lawyer. Okay. I think he was the lawyer. I forgot what the other two were. Because you you have to be able to Make, take care of yeah. the family financially, right? Like mm-hmm. especially if they're staying home with the kids. You got right? three. But being a polygamous is illegal. So the other two are not your wife technically, and they uh. actually can get in trouble. So like these ones moving into the same house together. They're scared because they're like, what if the neighbors? You know, because in Utah yeah. it's like a big thing. So if the neighbors report you. And you um, get found to be a polygamous family. The ones who are not married to the man can go to jail. Whoa. That's a bit extreme. Come on. Yeah. It's, Why so, is it illegal? Do we know? Because polygamy was just made illegal. Because God said no? Well, man said God said no. So, like, Ooh, who's wrong the- here? <clears throat> like, does the, a man who cheats Derek on his, uh, <laughs> on his wife <laughs> go to jail? Right? For, for like, stepping out? Like, why are you going to arrest people who the agree women. to be together? It's weird. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't think the guy goes to jail. I think it's just the women. Yeah, come on. Because they were the shit. ones who were like, oh, who's going to watch my kids? Blah, yeah. blah, blah. Damn. So they're risking their, their freedom for this and going on TV. <laughs> Listen, America's a wild place. It's a <laughs> fucking wild place. It's the, when they say why, why West? Yeah, that's us. That's us. That's too much freedoms. Too many. <laughs> so many freedoms. You see what happened? It's too much. I don't care. It's too much. You heard about the, the, the announcer at the girls' basketball game? The one that let the uh, N word slip uh-huh. and said he, his blood sugar was low? Yeah, he you said he blamed it on his diabetes. Fucking wait, wait, wait. Asshole. What did he say? I'm sorry. <laughs> and so these um, young ladies on this <clears throat> basketball team. Um, took the took a kneel, took a knee. Sorry, when the national anthem was playing, and he said something like, "Uh, he 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 called them nigger." I forgot exactly. Yeah, I, he didn't know he, his mic was on. He's like, "Oh, uh, I look s- look at these niggers." Yeah, I screenshot it. Hold, hold on, I got I got to get it right. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You shouldn't have said anything else. No, you couldn't have said anything else. But you shouldn't have said that. Yeah. yeah. He said... Uh, oh, yeah. Please find the quote. It's... Uh, it's something. I don't know. You would think... Uh, <laughs> you would think somebody would learn at this point. This is a weird country, man. It's such a strange place. Honestly. Honestly, truly. That's a... um. That's a Joanne the Scammer quote. Is uh, Joanne the Scammer still around? Uh, I haven't seen anything in a while. Barely, very it. rarely. <laughs> He said, expletive, I'm going to go with fuck as the expletive, expletive them. I hope they lose. He called the team the N-word, and the N-word here isn't nice. That's from Forbes. <laughs> Thanks, <Come> on, Forbes. <laughs> we get it. Right. <laughs> you know, we know what you're talking Bim, about. Bim, this is for you. What I did? This one. What? The yellow cup. Oh, shit. Jen, damn. You know what my initial thought was? is fear. Because of whites. Yes. But it's ailment. I know. I had to I remember, know. but I get scared. I have like I know. fucking I trauma. Know, because you haven't had it so long. It's going to be so tasty. It smells so good. I, that's what Darren said. <clears throat> Are you kidding it me? delicious. Oh my goodness. So I was listening to the second day update today. <laughs> and I got this annoyed. It's fucking good. It's delicious. <laughs> oh my God. Go ahead. <laughs> and I got annoyed because once again, I don't know if that's staged or not. <clears throat> it's supposed to be genuine. It always looks It sounds It staged. sounds. Yeah, we're good. So this guy said he went... Well, actually, the girl called and she, she wanted a second date with the guy. Hmm. When they talked to the guy, he was... I guess he said he had accidentally got something with milk in it. And he had shit himself on the date and they had to take a walk. And so he had been embarrassed. And that's why he you didn't call the girl good. no more. He, <laughs> he put that cup down so quick. He I'm said, scared. ooh, shit himself. That's what made me think of it. I'm not going to lie to you. That's, just, that's a scary thought. And so he did And so she... So he never hit her back because he was so embarrassed. Yeah. But she apparently didn't know that it was a shit on him. So when they called him, he told them the story. And he was just like, yeah, I can't believe she would want to go out with me again. She didn't smell the shit. And so they're like, oh, she's on the phone. Aye, aye, aye. She didn't know that you shit on yourself until now. You told her. <laughs> 
so after all of the guys, and he was telling a lot of fun, and he was just like, you know, so yeah, I'll go on a second date if you had a good time with me, with shit on me. Imagine me without. Mm. And then this bitch gonna say, no, you shit on yourself. I don't want to go. Trash. I was like, lady. Trash. He just told his whole embarrassing story on the radio for you. Yeah, and he was being honest, Darren, like they asked us to do. Derek I Jackson really would have said it. I gotta relax. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Jackson would have said, "Be honest, yeah, with your woman." And he said it. He was vulnerable on the radio. And no, no, no. you sure. shit on yourself. Ew, you don't want. You ain't even know, stupid. That, that's what he said. He said, "You're not very observant." <laughs> <laughs> he was funny. He was fun. Yeah, she's trash. Trash. <clears throat> he don't. She don't deserve you, King. <laughs> don't be that person, man or woman. Don't be a buzzkill. Um, did we talk about the Grammys at all? <clears throat> Whenever that happened, I don't want to talk about that. I feel like we did. Um, I just thought it was super dope that uh, um, Beyonce and them got a Grammy for Brown Skin Girl for yeah. the video, and Blue Ivy since she was on the song, she got a Grammy. Yeah. Oh wow! And amazing. So cute. And how Jay Z years ago said when he got his Grammy, "Hey Blue, I got a little sippy cup for you," and, and then you got Blue drinking. Out of her Grammy. It's fucking amazing. Speaking I love of, it. did you see the thing Walmart posted? Mm-mm. They're doing a limited edition gold vinyl oh. version of Nipsey oh, Hussle's yeah, album, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Victory Lap. Yep. You can order it on walmart.com. I would have copped if I still had my turntables. I, I have turntable. What? How yeah, are you going to DJ? I, I use a controller now. Controller. Controller. <laughs> I have a record player. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I have a third one somewhere. Yeah, a what one? Uh, a third turntable that I didn't sell somewhere. Three t- tables and, and a mic. mic. Mm. Even though that's not how the song goes, but nope. you get it. Um, Random thing I saw on the Twitter. Oh, I love it. Because I like to laugh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm. Shout to Vic Bam. Me, yeah, he posted this oh, and boy. I never saw it. All right, y'all ready? Okay. A gentleman posted this. The wife started a new diet, but caught me watching... BBW porn. <laughs> now the house is confused. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I just thought that was good. <laughs> That's it. What do you do? <clears throat> Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. Ditch that diet, boo. That's it. I'm like, <laughs> shit. Yeah, get some Popeyes and let's turn up. Nigga. Use the grease as lube. Let's go. Where is my pizza? <laughs> See? We talking about bad diet shit. Fuck. Get over here. Fuck that roll. Well, speaking, <laughs> speak, <laughs> speaking of, um, Nadali sent me something. I was ready to shout fight. to Q. What up, beloved? Don't talk to him. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody had posted: Men who smell good have beards, weigh two hundred plus pounds, and work hard. How y'all doing today? Who posted that? I don't know. He didn't put. He cropped out the name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "What's he's a post?" Her antennas went up. I'm like, Who the hell? This is stupid guys. Oh, look, money, baby. <laughs> and all right. I mean, it's funny, but you know, he ain't dumb. <laughs> I win. Oh my god. I said, that's funny, but I don't like that. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, so I'm in a somehow air fryer recipes group on Facebook. Yo, send me that. Right? Yeah. But it's all bullshit. It's all dumb shit. I don't do oh, it. Never mind. No, that. It's like, why would you cook that in air fryer? Like, I somebody posted about making wine in air fryer. I'm I sorry. To, I don't have time. What do you say? I don't have time. What do you say, though? Making, what do you say? Making wine. Like what? Wine juice. <laughs> not, not wine, dude. <laughs> yeah. Not soca wine. <laughs> not wine. Not wine. Not wine. Send five, wine cent, ten, ten cent dollar. Dollar, no? No, not that kind of wine. What wine? <laughs> I'm waiting for more wine to come out. <laughs> I, I try. I know. Get ready to wine. <laughs> now, Ferrano, people making wine and a people are bored. People are so bored. This is the coronavirus is not easy. So, <laughs> so, so this person posted. I guess they made hard boiled eggs in an air fryer. That I've done. How did How did you do it? How did it come out? Talk about it. Came out good. The wife actually told me about it. But yeah, you put them bitches in at a certain temp, obviously. Uh-huh. For a certain amount of time. And you, yeah. And that's, that's it? it? And then you just peel them? Yeah. Well, you know, same process. Taking them out, put them in some cool. cold water, okay. and shock it. Okay. And then, yeah. Right. But yeah, it works. Don't leave them too long, obviously, because... But yeah, Messy. That you could do. 
So this person put this cap. This well, that's this, fucking long. Jen. This comment. You read that whole shit. You hey. smart. How <laughs> you read that? I read fast. But the plot twist <laughs> no at reason. the end of this stat. This it makes comment, it worth it. On the air fried hot boy egg. <laughs> It's a white man profile picture. Important. John Kant's Ayat. Now, it's going to take a plot twist at the end, okay? Mm-hmm. I am happy to make this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you reading the whole thing? Possibly. It's, it's mad words. It's we'll see. It's, Darren, it's, it's mad fine. words. Fine. Darren, I don't I, like I, to read. Babe, I'll be read to. <laughs> babe, I'm good at reading. All right, my back. <laughs> it's not like it's me reading. <laughs> I'm good at reading. Okay. I am happy, you should be able to I, get through it. I am happy to make this comment. My wife and I are now happily back together. I have to say it was effortlessly done, exclamation. Within 15 hours, my wife left me a year ago with my one kid. The longer she's gone, the more I see what a coward I was. At first, I blamed her for leaving. I told her she was wrong. In fact, I slapped scripture on her, trying to guilt-induce her any way I could. Remember, this was about (laughs) about air fryer boiled eggs. Uh, oh my god my anger make me only to push her father away I can't believe the way I acted my wife gave me chance after chance and I ignore her I contacted Dr. Samson and within a few hours of speaking with him I realized that Dr. Samson was the person whom I could completely trust I just wanted to thank you for all of your magic spell and commitment exclamation and I will always be using Dr. Samson for further work in the future because he really put unity and smile on my face, like my family again. We are now blissfully celebrating our third year anniversary together. Thank you so much. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. For those who might also want to give him a try, you will never regret ever contacting him. You can reach him on WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> Plus two three four seven zero oh, four. You gotta give the own number. Nah. <laughs> or email him at Dr. Samson something something at dot com. I was waiting for how boiled egg saved the marriage. No, no. Oh. <laughs> but if you know anything, if you ever heard your parents give a, a foreign phone number over the phone mm-hmm. loud, I'm pretty confident two three four is Nigeria. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. No, uh, 419 is ours. No. No? The dialogue? Oh, wait, wait, wait. The country code. The country code, because yes. Because Ghana's 233. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right. You can get to Dr. Samson on 234. Wow. So I read this whole thing. I said, what is this white man talking about? And wow. And then I said, wow, wow, wow. These niggas. 234, yeah. <laughs> Confirmed. Yeah. What if somebody was like, hey, 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 my <laughs> brethren, congrats. And I salute. They use this white man's picture. I you know love what? it. I ain't gonna lie. If you never said that last part, I would be like, man, that's, that's kind of that's kind of legit. Yeah. And mind you, I'm, when she's reading it, because she said white man in the profile, but I'm like, why is she reading with an accent? <laughs> Aha. Because I couldn't, I couldn't not, because I knew how it ended. Aha. I knew the plot twist. Wow. We gonna get our money, Darren. We are gonna make some money. If we you, gonna be all we right. We gonna listen. <laughs> it don't matter, yo. It Amen. don't even matter. Amen. Wow. <laughs> Yo, good on them. Thanks, Dr. <laughs> how Samson. Many, how many likes does that come out? Um, I didn't do that part. Somebody oh, just replied and was like, this has nothing to do with eggs. Like, <laughs> they should delete you. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. They want to know about oh, eggs. Um, yeah, I didn't screenshot that part, but she was like... Uh, Somebody said, so wait, I'm confused. Do you de-shell them? Oh. Fam. Yeah. Anyways, anyways. Okay. Oh, how how y'all get two three three and we two three four? How they dish out numbers? Who for the country code? Who shall my parents? No. Oh. <laughs> Whoever gave the country <laughs> codes? Like how come we're back to back like that? Because we're probably next to each other. Nah. Hey. No. Hey. Are we? Hey. Yeah. I'm gonna trust you. You should trust me. We have. I brothers. don't know. I feel like we're bordering somebody else. We have maybe Togo. Uh huh. See. Maybe. Sorry, Darren. I like y'all on the island. I like, so. I like when y'all. Well, uh, we don't Gilligan, get off the <laughs> island. Well, they still got somebody on the island with them, though. They got Dominicans. Yeah, that's mm. a fact. I think they have the bigger part of the island, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the bigger half. If you will. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it wasn't yeah, evenly. Yeah. How can we sort that out? <laughs> How, can we... <laughs> How can we sort that out? In fact, Darren, do you know what's going on in Haiti right now, y'all? What's going on in Haiti? Shit. Is there an idea? 
I haven't seen anything about Haiti. I saw anything. About what oh, are you talking about? Togo man? and Benin are between us. So I'm uh-huh. sorry. Yeah, because y'all ain't right next to us. So how you get two, three, three, and with two, three, four? It's a conspiracy. Maybe it's the the order of getting independence. Mm. We were first. Or whoever had phone first. Y'all ain't beat us the phones. We beat you to independence. Whatever. How you gonna be independent with no phone? We're better. Whatever. Mm, trash. <laughs> we're just lazy. Who you calling? <laughs> <Who you> call <laughs> <laughs> Civil War Busters. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Busters is funny to me. <laughs> Don't give me the more You know, I up. wish there was like, not even prosperity, because there's a lot of rich motherfuckers in, in Africa, period. But specific, period. Specific to West Africa, Jen. To Jen, okay. I, I wish our countries had like resorts. Like, you no, know what I'm saying? Again, they have hotels. They, Ghana has a lot of hotels. Hotels, yes, but like, I want people, and I don't know if it's the same in Ghana. Probably not. I don't know. But when when Nigerians go back to Nigeria, Darren, you're in the airport, you're getting your bags, you're leaving. The officers that are there will approach you. Ah, uncle. Uh Uh-huh. Did you bring something for me? Looking for bribes. Mm. Same thing when you're leaving Nigeria. Ah, auntie. Uh Uh-huh. What do you have for me? Bribes. Imagine if tourists are coming in and out and these are officers <laughs> that are supposed to protect you and they're looking for money there's so much that can be done and and this is for me going to um abu dhabi dubai and all that stuff they changed their strategy from oil to tourism mm. and this was like in the 70s and they've been flourishing since mm. building crazy shit anything to make people feel welcome yep. meanwhile <laughs> in west africa are people stealing all the money, getting their families richer, and tourism is not really welcome because tourism, uh, uh, bribes, kidnappings, blah, blah, blah. Like, what are we doing, man? We're hustling and, and I don't, I don't think um, they're very well-versed on customer service. Nope. <laughs> nope. And if Jamaica can have resorts, come on. Because you know how it is. They kind of take their time. And it's an island, so that's the vibe. I'm lying. When we were in Jamaica, Darren, it's not <laughs> he, a knock. He keeps, are you a knock? He are keeps, you a knock? <laughs> he keeps putting you in it. No, 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 any island, any okay. island. When you go to an island, we're in Jamaica. Com- when you're in the island, Bim. compared to being in in the city. Okay, hold up. Are you talking about service wise? Like you just, you're you're experiencing the service. Not that they take forever intensely, but it's yeah, man, we're coming. But it'll come. But there's no rush. It's not like you're in New York or somewhere where, hey, I got to be somewhere, bring my shit. Islands, any island you go to. It moves slow. It's a different pace. Yes. Same thing with Florida. Well, yeah, shit. They might as well be an island. They so, should be an island. Can we, we don't get that? Just, didn't uh, Bugs Bunny already cut yeah. Florida off and yeah. kick it? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but so get better. Like if they recognize how much money can be made. From tourism. Mm. Cardi B was just in Ghana and Nigeria. She did not have fun in Ghana. I wasn't going to say it. I, that's did. okay. I can say it. <laughs> so, she did not have a good time. Now imagine if there's this five-star resort that Cardi went to in Ghana. And all her fans see it. And it's like, oh shit, you could turn up like that in Ghana and have a resort by the beach. Blah, blah. Gone. That's it. Tourism goes up. But tourism was up that year anyway. because that was. That was the year of the 400th. Um, Anniversary of the first ships taking slaves from the mm. West Coast to the Caribbean and America. So, mm-hmm. there was, and I knew that in the beginning of the year because you would see all these different mm-hmm. celebrities posting, mm-hmm. we're going to Ghana and this year, guys, we're going to Ghana. And so, like, when I say everybody was in Ghana mm-hmm. that year, Darren, everybody. Like a lot, yeah. like a lot, lot. But was it the end of 2019? Yeah, because right before COVID. Yes, yeah. yes, actually. So, yeah. it was the last, like... Whoo! And then, um, but it's just it's different because like Cardi went to Nigeria and she turned up, but I felt like Nigeria wasn't being itself. No, and that was around that was in December, I believe. So during the holiday season, that's when most of the folks mm-hmm. that live in you know the, the uh, North America and whatnot go to Nigeria to you know kick it with family and party. So I went it's a to Ghana. The one time, time I went was. During that time, and it was, and I was only six, and I remember having so much fun. And I didn't want to come back. It's like, like Christmas is a big deal. Yeah, yeah. My sister typically will go in December, so my family too. 
But even outside of that, like this is these are countries where weather is great most of the time or hot as fuck. Um, it's outside either rainy of, season or it's not. Right. So we can they can make money all year, you know, if if you set it up right. You know, it just breaks my heart though that. You know, we're not capitalizing the way we should compared to other countries, you know. This is a very good point. Yeah, I don't know. Darren, you don't know what's going on in Haiti? Prayers for Haiti. White Clef was trying to become president at one point, but they didn't vote for him. <laughs> when was this? You didn't remember that? If I were president. Wow. You remember that song? If I were president. They don't want you, nigga. <laughs> Be a on Monday. Mm. Yeah, that was lyrics. That was actual lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> and those were real life lyrics. He's assassinated on Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> if I were president, <laughs> make him sing. It doesn't sound like he. That boy can good. Sing, no, he's he good. Sing. He hold that note. He that hold that good. Haitian note. <laughs> oh, he got the Haitian hairline in this picture. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm gonna show you the picture. And you gonna tell me I'm lying? Aye. is that recent? I don't know when that was. Taken. Oh, just shave that it, brother. Old. That old. Yeah, I think he balls now. Oh boy. Wild off topic. Rest in peace to Bobby Brown's son. Oh gosh. Bobby Brown Jr. No. You didn't know? Gosh. Yeah, it happened a couple of days ago. He passed away. He lost two children. I don't know how that man is doing it. Oh my he lost god. A wife and two children. Yeah. He lost a wife and two children. He's having one of the roughest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, after watching the the New Edition movie and then the Bobby Brown movie on BT, which actually have done very well. I still haven't seen it. I, what? I know. What? I know. Oh, my God. Darren, you saw? Oh, my God. Don't oh, my God oh with her. Oh, my <laughs> God. Darren, you I know. We, Please. Please. Now you telling us about something. You have, huh? please. Mm. We have to start from the, the beginning. I remember it was, he was saying it was very it good. It was really well done. Yes. You know, I'm going to make a point to watch it this weekend. Mm. So you got to start with the new edition one and then after. Oh, that I saw. Yeah, I saw that one. And then the Bobby Brown was just as good. Okay. It's got Whitney, whatever. So why did I bring that up? Uh, his son passed. Yeah, so watching that, it was just kind of like, yo, out of everybody, he's. Like, somehow doing the best. Like, I follow Bobby Brown on Instagram. I told you guys, I follow the most random people. And he has, like, a barbecue rub that he's selling Did not on know. Instagram. Um, and apparently his barbecue seasonings are very good. I haven't bought them, but I, I would. You should. Because I, I trust him. I trust him. But it's like, damn, out of everybody, you're the one who's still out here thriving? Yeah, and... But he's just uh, your son, Bobby Brown Jr. Did you see what he passed to? Yeah, uh, so mm. they, so it was um, fentanyl, so drug mm. drug overdose. But Dang, he lost two of the drugs. But he wasn't a, a according to his mother. Three. When he didn't Two of the drugs. Well, two oh, kids. Two kids to Sorry. Drugs. Okay. Yeah. So his mother was saying that he wasn't a frequent user of that. Like he would drink, he would smoke, but that was like. He would hang around with like the wrong crowd, so it may have been a situation where it was like maybe his first or second time doing it. Ugh. Yeah. That. Ugh. ugh. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's rough, man. Prayers oh, for that man. family, man. Damn, that is so tough. It's and too praise, much tragedy. Yeah. Tragedy. And prayers to the families tragedy? of the people who were killed in the it's too much, my um, <laughs> supermarket in Colorado. Another fucking mass shooting. And the <sighs> Asian at the massage spas. And Atlanta. Yes, yeah, that, that we, we quickly spoke about that. Yeah, once. like, just, you know, just be nice to one another. Did y'all see the stat? Now, and I'm going to look it up now. How many? Wait, hold on. Did you guys see the stat about how many mass shootings have been this far, so this year so far? No. no. When they were just talking about okay. just the mass shootings in Colorado that were, like, nationally publicized, I was like, that's a lot. I just thought it was the, uh, not even just, but I thought it was only the um, movie theater. Mm-hmm. And this, but then there was a school as well, and there was like three other like big ones. What was uh, Columbine? Wasn't that was? I don't think Columbine. Okay, so. A Parkland, maybe. Something like that. According to the criteria of four or more people involved in the shootings, that's a mass shooting. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, for fun, I'll and ask you guys. This year. This year, our our We're year of the Lord, twenty twenty one, March of twenty twenty one. Take a guess, Darren. How many mass shootings have there been this year so far? Go. 150. In three months? Jen? I'm not going numbers. 70. 104. 
Wow. In the United States of America. This is in 29 states. In three months. It is my not even gosh. a full three months. We had, you know, we had a short February. Guys, and, and it's COVID. And it's I thought, COVID, I thought this stopped. It's a whole panoramic going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And people shooting. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I'm not hashtagging anything anymore. I've made that choice on my own. Because what does it do? Who was it that said that? I think it was Bill Maher, like on his show, maybe last week or the week before. He said he had like a whole segment where he was like, We have too many causes. Yeah. We, we need a cause for the causes. Yeah. Because too it's many ribbons, too st- many hashtags. Stop Asian hate now. Yep. But then if a cop goes off and kills another brother or sister, then it's back to black and, and, I, I, and what is it what is it stopping honestly and why don't we say stop white supremacy versus yeah. every single group gotta have yeah. their own special cause yeah. then now you're just dividing everybody even more and you're not targeting the problem how about we unite against the problem thank you and that's what the, all of this shit's about um, not news articles talking about what can black people do to help Asians. Asian Fuck like, you. Come on. <laughs> Fuck Stop you. it. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Bitch ass cunt. Because it's us out Fuck here. you. Yeah. yeah. Well, we just out here to help everybody all right. the time. Meanwhile, we're getting fucked with. Like, what are we talking about, man? Like, target the issue. Yeah. And it's these true. are. Rhymes with tissue. They, come on now. Wipe and your nose. Missile. So, that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? And a missile. He said rhymes with tissue. Oh, missile. <laughs> now, how you get a tissue to dance? Say it now. <laughs> you know how you get a tissue to dance? Put a little boogie in it. Put Come on now. Put a little boogie in it, baby. <laughs> Thank you, babe. So, and the, 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 the startling thing is, uh, what took place in uh, Atlanta, I think uh, it was a 21-year-old. So, for the people who feel like, oh, it's only older folks or older white folks who do this, this is still fucking being... Groomed, cultivated. Mm-hmm. Cultivated. This isn't going away until this is dealt with for real, for real. Like real consequences for legit hate crimes, not just somebody, you know, talking shit, but like for real hate crimes. Like, no, life in prison, no parole, bang, bang, bang. This is a crime against American citizens. Do you hear they were reopening the death penalty part of the trial for the guy the, the who bomber. was in the Boston Marathon bombing? Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. I mean, his brother died in you know, a gunfight with police, so it's just him. But they were saying, I guess, the lawyers didn't allow certain um, testimony. Hmm. So he's in there with the death penalty, and they want to take that part off, right? And okay, just keep cool. him in prison for life? Sorry. Yes, you're yeah, right. Thank you, Darren. So, and I mean, I'm not one to... I'm taking a life. I'm not cool with that because everybody has their purpose on her. Like, um, Purpose. yes, so people, if it's truly rehabilitation in prison, um, L- L- Darren's like, kill them niggas. 21, uh, was that they line up like seven guys and shoot, shoot, the, oh, a shooting, uh, shooting, get firing, firing squad, firing, firing squad. squad, yes, Thank that, that. You. What was the show, sorry, what was the show on Nickelodeon mm-hmm. where they would always do a firing squad, yeah. but they would fuck up yeah. and the dude who ordered it would get shot? Do you remember that? Yes, salute your shorts. Nah, that was a camp. Camp Anawana, to be yeah. exact. I hold you in, in my heart. heart. And, and when I think about you, it makes me want to fart. I didn't have cable, guys. <laughs> that um, was cable? I fe- I, it, yeah, was cable. it was cable. Um, I feel like you're thinking of like Rocky and Bullwinkle. It was like a cartoon, right? No, no. It's, no. Keep going. I'll, uh, I'll bring it up. <clears throat> if you... like, If it's very clear, you purposely did this. They, I hate the fact they have to keep saying alleged. Ah, yeah. And the motherfucker admitted in Atlanta. <laughs> they, he admitted. He, yes, it was me. The, the one in Colorado, he's on the stretcher with a bullet in his leg. Like, why do we have to keep saying allegedly and give him a trial? Right. Why right. do we have to do all this? Because you're guilt. No, you're innocent to prove guilty. But we see you. Yeah. <laughs> but we saw you. You waved to the camera. Mm-hmm. I think if you, if it's clear. It's like R. Kelly. You, we yeah, saw you. <laughs> you purposely took life like that. You should die in a very bad way. That was the name of the show. Sorry. You can't do that on television. Oh, yeah. I yes. vaguely remember that. Yes, yes, yes. It was like a, almost like sketch comedy. Yes. Yeah. Precisely. Before all that, that was... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Jen, I don't know if you... I know you didn't have cable. I have no cable. Yeah, yeah. 
And this dude who's ordering the firing squad would end up getting killed instead of the person he put up on the firing squad. Very dark <laughs> for a kid's show. Liam, what the hell? Yeah. We grew up fine. Yeah. Did you though? No, not really. We have problems. We have different problems. I don't so... have the problem. I don't have anger issues where I, I got to go kill somebody. With well, that's AK. good. So. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's... Ladies and gentlemen. If Darren has never swung on me, he's, he's pretty <laughs> even kilted. I can't even imagine that happening. That would be so terrible. I would cry so much. Darren would oh. stop mid-swing and start crying I, and I, feed a person. We would cry <laughs> together. I and cried, I'd cry because he tried you it. You cry. Yeah. We cry no. together. Can I ask you guys a question? Or, or four, five questions? Eh? Five yeah. questions. I think I have to make peepees. Listen to me. I have five questions <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. How much would you pay to see Lil' Kim? Not much. Uh, you know, I'll be fair. I'll be fair. Yeah. Um, I pay just her. Mm-hmm. Opening acts, none. Just her. <laughs> uh, Max know. fifty. I wouldn't pay more than fifty. I was bucks. saying fifty in my head. Okay. Yeah. How much would you pay to see the locks? The locks. The locks. Oof. Oh my God. Solos. I, so then, that, that makes me want to adjust my low cam price. <laughs> <laughs> because how much they, do concerts cost? Like, well, we haven't had concerts in a year, so like they don't cost ish? whatever. Now, I'd pay more to see the locks than Kim. Okay, so you said 50 for Kim. Locks more than 50. Yeah, it was good. 60. Uh, for me, I'd say the same. <laughs> okay. 50 for 50? Mm-hmm. With the, you got Styles P, Jadakiss, and I know, the other nigga. I, he don't know rap. I don't know. Don't say the other nigga. Chic. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the him. tall one. All right. How much would you pay to see Nori? Noriega? Noriega. Um, the real Noriega. <laughs> good shit. <laughs> um, I'd, pay, I'd pay 50. i pay up to 50. I'd say about the same. And how much would you pay to see Cameron? Killer! Honey. About the same. So they're all for going to Foxwoods in one You're concert. You're a fucking liar. You are a fucking motherfucking wait, wait, wait. liar. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Hold it. Okay, got it. How much are tickets? They had tickets starting at $75, okay. and Darlin told me no. <laughs> Q, you wildin', beloved. You know you know you my guy. Q, you wildin', beloved. What? I mean, you are getting a bargain. What? You just admitted to paying about two hundred dollars to see all those people in one. Now it wouldn't you be more. one shot. It wouldn't be the same night. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> but seventy five. They had seventy five and ninety five. I'm there. So it was a show that was supposed to be in March, but they had to postpone it. So it's going to be in September. Mm-hmm. And Fox was has because I was trying to buy Dave Chappelle tickets today, which were way more than seventy five dollars. Yeah. Um, but they had that show pushed. It was September eighteenth. So to be in September. Kim, yeah, but and, and they do a rapid test Cameron on everybody who goes in. That sounds fun. I want to go. I never seen Cam in concert. That's why I saw him once at um, the Strand. And it was great. Wow, you were you were like don't incriminate like you... me. <laughs> I feel like we saw Cam when we're, you see Cam. We were that don't yeah. count. Okay, that was in Miami. Okay, we were I'm in like, the club. I feel Miami. like we were near him. Miami. For some <laughs> see, hey, Chrissy hey. touched it in Miami. <laughs> wow. Okay, right. sorry. I love Tim Jones. Stop it. I love Chrissy. Um, you know, we were in the club. Okay, I just yeah. In in our respective section, and then Cam and a few other, and he did a few songs. That was very He's great good. surprise. I remember being there. and I'm like, oh, is it over yet? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you know what? Well, well first of all, he I wanted to go to sleep. I do want to go to sleep. Sorry, it was, and late. I wasn't in the good. <laughs> it was. It was really late. I know he I can't go to Miami, New York. I'm like, yo, y'all in the club till five, six in the morning. I don't have time. It's so, a lot. There was one night. It was five thirty, and I was like, yo, oh my I don't God, make it past one thirty. I, I don't. And yeah. that's when things start to really flourish. She, I will go for that early warm. <laughs> I'll do a little sway. Early warm. <laughs> That shit was fire. We didn't even know Cam was going to be there. He just pulled up. Yeah. And we was like, oh, shit. That shit was Cam. And I was like, I hope you do a song. And he got on the mic and did a few. I love Cam, Ron. Yeah, that's my guy. I couldn't really see him. So, yeah, if y'all could, like, send Cam. Facebook messages to Darling and tell him now it's I. Right. Yeah, no, nah, he might have to let that happen. September 2, Kyle? Come because on, man. I, they, they do rapid twist, te- twist, test to anybody who comes. Um. So, even if you're, uh, even if you're vaccinated, you, uh, okay. they do a rapid test. That's the news one? I know. I'd be sneezing. I, oh. Allergy season has started. It's been tough. I've been cool so far. I did some yard work today, by the way. Oh, that's yeah. good. A little bit. Some dethatching. You know, awesome. trying to get stuff De-hoo? ready. Dethatching. 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 Dethat
Can't get prepared early. Mr. Early is have mode, too. I did Mr. a quick mode. Mr. Early, mode. early. You did a quick mode. Mm. Oh, quick mode. I mean, Mr. Yeah. Early, Pick early. Pick up any debris, Darren. You know? <laughs> I'm going to say something, and I, it's going to sound bad. But Ooh, do it. They hired the lawn scapers to come. There's so much leaves. Ooh. They charge you for the cleanup. Yeah. Yeah. It's just just fucking pack it up and throw it in the woods. Nah, she does. The other lady does that and, and forbade us to do it, too. How's she going to do it? In- <laughs> Wait, she doesn't well, say well, y'all shouldn't well, do it? Well, because the space is more behind her house. Mm-hmm. Um, but she was like, "Yeah, don't. No, no, the last guy did it. Don't do that, please." We it's like, leaves; they break down. And you do it, and, and she, she does it. I'm sure she does it. Yeah, cunt. but we can just go bring it somewhere else and dump it. Two yeah. Yeah. stupid. There's places. Um, but you have a ride on mower, bro. Mm-hmm. Don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier when they He's do. Like, mm-hmm. God bless. God bless. It was really, that's what it boils down to. I just don't want to dump, and drive, and dump. And, Dump. Right. I'm a fool, huh, with my push mower. Yeah, because you have a smaller lot of land. It's, it's, I don't mean that, Jen. I knew no, it. No, it is smaller. I knew it was going to come You got a smaller way. plot it of land. It is smaller, but it still takes me at least 40, 45 minutes yeah, to plot do it. Land yeah, shit, I bitch. I wish. I wish. I don't have a field. <laughs> no field for you. Yeah, it still takes a while, man. And how do you get to really know your land, Darren, if you're not out there trimming Darren? the bush? <laughs> Darren, I have a deed that tells me where <laughs> tells me about my land. No, it's you know, I see how the grass is germinating, huh? Germinating. Uh, that's crazy. On, uh, oh shit, we good, man. What the fuck? Are you Bye. Oh yeah, yeah Jen's like, all right, peace. Oh, peace Anything out. Else? Uh, Any final shout out to Haitian kids clothing. Uh, got and the shout out to Haiti, even though Darren don't. don't know. Yes. <laughs> shout out to Darren's dress. They look fresh as fuck. Oh, Fresher than a mug. Uh, thank you very much. Stop, Jen. Stop. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what else I got, so. Good night. Good morning. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I had a lot Catch to say, but I'm tired because I got here late, and um, Sharon Osborne got to relax. Yeah, and you got to relax, B. Cheryl Underwood, you a queen, and you're better than me. And um, the talk was like, anyway. Hi, right, bye. Later, gang. Yeah. Best thing?